like these chirping birds, Maria Hernandez is speaking up and making some noise. This is the least time to be fearful. This is the time to act. Unlike the birds, though, she doesn't feel free. She escaped family violence in Mexico when she was only four, brought to the U.S. by her grandmother, grew up in Alamo, Texas, and graduated from college at Texas A&M in Kingsville before landing a job at an immigrant child reunification organization. Everything was falling into place. Until things began to change. The 25-year-old DACA recipient was told to pull over at the Sarita, Texas checkpoint on Highway 77 last week. It's a road she travels twice a month when visiting family at the border. Maria had heard news stories that Border Patrol was conducting these stops at another checkpoint and didn't really understand why. I want to be informed, like, why you guys are doing this. And then they just said, oh, it was, um, we were just instructed to. I'm like, but was there a memo? A memorandum or a directive is precisely what Border Patrol has refused to disclose to the public, even after multiple requests. This memo was obtained by KRGV-TV and shared with us. In it, the acting chief of the Border Patrol instructs all agents that encounter deferred action beneficiaries to verify their status and look for any warrants or criminal history. Even though DACA recipients already get screened by Citizenship and Immigration Services when applying and renewing their work permits. If you're not criminal, you're fine. Well, okay, I mean, anyone can be a criminal, a any kind of status can be a criminal, but you're just targeting a group. The memo indicates this is part of the winding down process to phase out DACA by March 5th. Border Patrol is not saying if this instruction is being enforced at airports or any other checkpoints. In some cases, DACA recipients are detained for up to six hours, interrupting their travel. In Maria's case, it was two hours, she says. Maria believes this is a scare tactic and wants to warn others of what to expect. Is this going to happen every time I pass? And they're like, yes. And despite that, this little bird told me it won't stop her from spreading her wings to fly. From the Texas-Mexico border, Oscar Margain, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News. As we wait for Congress to act on DACA, recipients have just a week left to renew their status. Those with permits that expire on or before March 5th can submit their applications by Thursday, October 5th. The two-year permits allow immigrants who came to the U.S. as children to work or study without fear of deportation. But the decision to end the policy has already cut off others from DACA protection. Those with permits that expire after March 6th cannot apply for renewal, and the government has already stopped accepting first-time applications. Also tonight, agents with Immigration and Customs Enforcement announced that they have arrested nearly 500 immigrants this week in sanctuary cities all across the country. The four-day operation called Operation Safe City actually ended yesterday, and it targeted cities and counties in these states which refused to help federal authorities enforce immigration laws. More than 200 people were arrested in Los Angeles and Philadelphia alone. Earlier this month, a federal judge blocked the rules requiring cities to cooperate.